Listeners, no one has a guarantee on life and we can't take along anything when we go, so we don't have to save all our earnings. Spend the money that should be spent. Enjoy what should be enjoyed. Donate what you are able to donate, but don't leave all to your children or grandchildren, for you don't want them to become parasites who are waiting for the day you will die. Don't worry about what will happen after you are gone, because when you return to dust, you will feel nothing about praises or criticisms. The time to enjoy the worldly life and your hard-earned wealth will be over. Don't worry too much about your children, for children will have their own destiny and should find their own way. Don't be your children's slave. Care for them. Love them. Give them gifts, but also enjoy your money while you can. Life should have more to it than working from the cradle to the grave. Don't expect too much from your children. Caring children, though caring, would be too busy with their jobs and commitments to render much help. Uncaring children may fight over your assets even when you are still alive and wish your early demise so they can inherit your properties and wealth. Your children take for granted that they are rightful heirs to your wealth, but you have no claims to their money. A 50-year-old like you should not trade in your health for wealth by working yourself to an early grave because your money may not be able to buy you health. When to stop making money? How much is enough? A hundred thousand? A million? Ten million? Out of a thousand hectares of good farmland, you can consume only three quarts of rice daily. Out of a thousand mansions, you only need eight square meters of space to rest at night. So, as long as you have enough food and enough money to spend, that is good enough. You should live happily. Every family has its own problems. Do not compare yours with others for fame and social status and see whose children are doing better. But challenge others for happiness, health, enjoyment, quality of life and longevity. Don't worry about things that you can't change because it doesn't help and it may spoil your health. You have to create your own well-being and find your own place of happiness. As long as you are in good mood and good health, think about happy things. Do happy things daily and have fun in doing. Then you will pass your time happily every day. One day passes without happiness, you will lose one day. One day passes with happiness, then you gain one day. In good spirit, sickness will cure. In a happy spirit, sickness will cure faster. In high and happy spirits, sickness will never come. With good mood, suitable amount of exercise, always in the sun, a variety of foods, reasonable amount of vitamins and mineral intake, hopefully you will live another 20 or 30 years of healthy life of pleasure. Above all, learn to cherish the goodness around your friends. They all make you feel young and wanted. Without them, you are sure to feel lost. Wishing you all the best, those who are 50 plus and those who will be 50 plus after some time. Life has no limitations except the ones you make.